welcome to Florida. Day four. So we are at Animal Kingdom right now and we've had to literally run through <laughs> because we're a little bit late for our reservation. We've come for breakfast at Tusker House. You've not been here before, Never been here, have you? No. I've not been forward. I've not been since 2016, so yeah, we're really looking forward to this, having breakfast with so the I always look forward to a Disney character dining. Yeah. It's so good. Right, so we've got to go in, so yeah. we'll catch you. Oh, Tusker House was so so good. Food, really really enjoyed the that. The food's really really good as well. Like they had this like spicy sort of sausage. It was so good. Should we have it here? Yeah, we'll go here for a second. Yeah, so we had this like spicy sausage. What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> um, yes. and there's some like really good character interaction. Oh, really really we good. Yeah, Goofy, I enjoyed that. Or as Daniel would call him, no. Pizza. One mistake that was that was in it caught. We don't talk about that. We met Mickey, we met Goofy, we met Donald, and we met Daisy. Yeah, really, really good. I yeah. say, I don't know. I've, I, that was like one of the best uh, character interactions I've had. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but yeah, it was really good. I always, I, I find character interactions quite awkward. Like being an adult, I don't know. I just, uh, I just like get, get really stiff. I'm like, oh hi, how are you? Like, I know, but they. If you look at it in their eyes, like they're there to like make make it fun and just yeah, I know, I know. I'm just like quite a stiff person when it comes to like character interactions, and I'm just they're like, hey, yeah, hey, how I are like you? Your outfit. You good? Yeah, no, I don't know. I just like Picture. freeze up. I don't know why I'm like it. It's weird because I'm like not like it in every other aspect of my life. No. What's going on behind us? <laughs>
So we've just done the safari. We heard the lion roar. We actually did. I think that was the first time we've we, ever heard the we lion roar. We were looking roar. at another animal, come and, the, and the driver was like, oh my god, he's like, guys, can you hear that? And you could just hear it roaring in the background. I don't know if we managed to catch it on the on the camera, but hopefully we have. I think I caught his little roar at the oh, end. The like, little he, he would come over and like he came over and laid down, and then he just went roar. And it was like, like exactly. A dog. It was like what my dog Diego does at home, like when he's barking, like if people are walking past the house, my mum's like, Diego, shut up. And he like, he always has to have the last day. So he'll be like, ruffing, ruffing, and then he'll, he'll do a little, at the end, like a little. That's what that lion was doing. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah, we uh, we just had a little photo. At the Fitchwa, I don't yeah. know if it's Wall. Fitch. Fitchwa Fellow. The, yeah. The photo wall and the Bai Harambe Market. Yeah. And we're going to have a little look in the shop yeah. before we go on any rides because we had such a big, oh, that's a cute little. Um, yeah. Should, we'll go over there in we'll a second. Show, yeah, we get we're going to um, go on some rides in a bit. We had such a big breakfast that we just want to let our food go so down. <laughs> still full up now. I mean, we just walked past um, one of the uh, food courts there and I was like, the smell of it, you was like, well, I can't even think of food right now. <laughs> so we're going to go pop in the shop here. So we want to see if they have um, any earrings, because Kimberly's just lost the back of one of her earrings. No, it wasn't the back, I've lost the whole earring now. Oh, she lost the whole earring. <laughs> she lost the back of it yesterday, and then I think the, the front thing. part's just fallen out now. So hopefully we can find... Um, that is very good, to be honest. Oh, I love that. It's really nice. How much is it? $20. Oh, I hmm. like Is that a purchase we make today? And there's a placemat to go with it. No, the placemat, I don't think that's a placemat, that's a magnet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hmm. That's still really good. I think she's going to get that, to be honest. I love it. This is nice, but I don't like the colours. Wild about. Like the, the green and the, not oh, the lounge fly. Yeah, I just don't like the colours. So about 80, normally they're about $80, these lounge flies. 78, so I would imagine 80 with taxes and whatnot. Kimberly would say. Cute. But also Disney vouchers are dollars for dollars. You can if you don't get ten dollars. Sixty-eight dollars, eighty-eight dollars. Feel like a bag for them. So we have a purchase. She's got a mug. How many, how many mugs is that now? It's one, two, three, four, up, five, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, six, ten. ten. <laughs> we have so many mugs at home. But I'm going to get rid of all of our other mugs eventually, just so we have just Disney mugs. Yeah? Okay. That's a good idea. So pretty, and then there's...
So we're just walking up to Dinosaur and we just notice. Does he, startled. does he look confused? Startled? Well, he's scared. He's looking at all of us. Look. Humans. What look at that face. <laughs> Like, it's, it's huh? that he's got like human looking That's teeth what he's as doing. well. Huh? You, it's, it's the teeth. Teeth? Teeth. Tons. Do you know how many elephants you have to have on a scale to have 50 tons? You can help me make history today with the time rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator he during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. Port field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. <laughs> And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? So our T-Rex souvenir is our, our king. It's got to be a little dig at Universal, hasn't it? It's actually a nice one. It's a medium. You usually you wear large in hoodies. Yeah, that's definitely wear large. Oh, they don't have it. They only have... Have they got any more over there? No, they got it in green, that's it. That's like one of the first ones I've seen that's actually like really, really nice. I like that one too. It's nice, isn't it? I actually want to get that. Try it on quickly. What's the size here like? It does look quite big though. Yeah, it's, yeah it's a bit, I'd say that looks this too big. Is, uh, a decent springs thing. Yeah, we'll have a look for one there. How much is that? <clears throat> I'll tell you in two I think I sort of think it was 69. What? What? 69. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to zip it up. Trying to. Finally got it there? Got it, got it, got it. 69, 99. Well, that's a shame because that was actually a really nice hoodie. Oh, no. I'm hoping they have that in decent springs when we go. Yeah, I think they will. Well, I need a large. Yeah. Medium's too small, extra large is too big. Yeah, no, I liked that. Daniel on dinosaur. Oh my god, the noises that was coming out of Look, him and the fidgeting. That throws me around. <laughs> so so he doesn't think that throws you around. No, he thinks that throws you around, but not Hulk or Rip Ride Rocket. I do like that. Like it's really good fun. It's just it makes me laugh about like, how much it throws you around. I know it just get like gave me the giggles as well. And it was the lady <laughs> next to me just kept screaming. Oh, it's great fun. But they're changing. They might be changing that to Indiana Jones, mightn't they? And then this whole area is it in Canada. I believe. Yeah, I think so. Which would be a shame because I mean we rarely spend much time in Dino Land other than going on Dinosaur. I'm not the gonna, rest of it's pretty much like a fairground. I'm not gonna lie, I don't I this is like one of my least favourite areas of any of the Disney like well, in, on Disney World in general. Yeah, definitely. I love this theme park, but I hate this part <laughs> of the park. So yeah, if they do end up re I'm it. kind of looking forward to them, but like it being reimagined, be, I think yeah, it'll be a bit be really, better. Really good. But yeah, we are going to make our way through to Asia, see what the queue is saying for. That's right. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Literally, it's here. We're gonna see ah. what the queue is for Everest. And yeah. possibly. Well, last time we looked, it was 40 minutes. Yeah, safari. We'll do safari. Not safari. Again. I literally meant to say rapids. I know. <laughs>
Oh. Gives you a bit of a jolt. Oh, here we go. motion sickness patches 100% work because I, I took mine off last night and I didn't put any fresh ones on because I completely forgot and I just went on Everest and I came off there feeling really sick like just queasy sick and I remember that happened a couple of years ago but then on our last trip because I started wearing these patches I didn't notice it and I was fine so I kind of a part of me felt like I was um like just okay with the rides and yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. actually the motion sickness no they work because <laughs> I've, I've needed to sit down and have a chill just to well, take a breather yeah. so you know what it's like if you feel a little bit queasy coming off a ride you just want to drink a bit of water and just relax for a little bit and magic kingdom is very muggy as all oh magic kingdom this is i'm delirious animal kingdom <laughs> Obviously, Animal Kingdom is always very muggy and sticky, but uh, I think it's extra sticky today because it's very cloudy. But like even at the top of Everest, normally you can see the Epcot ball and like you can barely see it in the distance, so it's very like, I don't know, misty. It looks misty in the sky. Mm. I'll see if I can see it on the camera. And like our phones doesn't say it's cloudy, but it's definitely clouds up there, and that oh, looks yeah. like a rain cloud. Doesn't it? <laughs> we always get rained on at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Literally our last trip we were drowned rats. I've never been so wet in all my life, but like even my bag, the it was leather, but there's a bit where it zipped up and you have that bit of material there. The water had leaked through there and got our passports. Everything wet. was soaked. We were literally soaked through. But you don't care when you're here. No, we said this at home. We were like sat there at home and it was like raining and we were going out for dinner and Daniel was like, why does it not bother me so much that it rains at home? He goes, if I was at Disney and I was going out for dinner and I got rained on, he goes, I wouldn't care if I was in the wet That's restaurant. It, yeah. like, it's soaking Literally. wet. It's funny. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but it's very misty looking. And cloudy. I 
small mammal, bird, or small reptile that might happen across their path and that they can easily grab without uh, expending. <laughs> No, they can't fit. A lifespan longer than I am tall, usually about five to six feet. Yeah. 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 Hello. And here's the oh, actual Alfred, peacock. You are good. Yeah. Yes. It is so funny because we used to have a bench here. Yes. Oh, but he, he would take over the bench and he would chase people <laughs> off the bench. Oh, I love that. Because that was his little presentation platform. Yes. Is yes. this yes. the way this you want to go? So Daniel just dragged me on <laughs> Carly River Rapids because it's a bit cloudy. I wasn't wasn't feeling it too much and I was no. like oh when the sun comes out a bit later we'll go on it um, but no he made me go on it and I'm actually glad I did because I've like cooled down I and know, I feel mint nice. now <laughs> yeah literally we had a really funny family on there with us as well so it was actually a really good ride yeah, well, so yeah thank good. you for dragging me on that That's right. You're welcome. <laughs> them socks with those crocs What's wrong? what are those yeah. what are those How pretty is the Lion King? Well, I know it's not the Lion King, but it's like the African plain It walls. reminds you of the Lion King, doesn't it? In that mm -hmm. scene where they're walking yeah. across. Do things still work? Uh, mm, it's been running a little dry lately. You can hear it. Let's keep going, keep going. Alright, it's steaming up. So that little thing that Daniel was just rubbing, <laughs> used to like, really spit out loads of like water like you rubbed it and it like sort of like had like they a got, mist and water yeah they got people wet that were yeah. like walking whereas through whereas now it seems like they just have like a photo pass per person there and they take pictures of you and we asked the guy does it still work and he said oh it doesn't work as much as it used to so I haven't feeling that's why too many people have been it. rubbing it <laughs> worn out <laughs> I got the night blossom with the boba balls. I didn't fancy the alcoholic one, and Daniel's got the grog because that's like his favourite drink here. Yeah, the porks, and he porks grog ale. It's like a fruity beer or ale. <laughs> Looks vile. Taste. Very nice. And I absolutely love these. What did you say it tastes like? It was like a, an ice lolly, isn't it? The Twister ice lolly is back right. home. It tastes like a drink version of that. <laughs> these came to $18, obviously because Daniel's has alcohol. So total today so far, we're at about $140. So we did know that today was going to go over our budget because we had the expensive breakfast. Mm. So today is one of the days that we know we're going to be about on the $200 mark, like yesterday. But then tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, we should be able to rein that back in. So yeah. we have budgeted like we, we knew there was going to be a couple of days where we we're going to be on our budget or maybe a little bit over. But like I say, some days, I know we've got a couple of days coming up, but we're going to spend nowhere near that. So today is an expensive one, but yeah, tomorrow we'll keep good. it. So far, we're well within budget. Yeah, we've got, I hope it stays that way. Well, it has to stay that way because we ain't got any more money. <laughs> no money. So it is five minutes to two, and we've just joined the queue for Avatar Flight of Passage. It says it's 55 minutes, so let's see. Because Four earlier, minutes. when we entered here, it was 105 minutes, yeah, so it's gone down that much. So hopefully, you never I know. Normally, I've sworn we've been up and done this before, and it's been like an hour or, or whatever, and it's, and it's been like 40 minutes. So. Well, with all the work, so um, Rapids were posted at 15 minutes, and it was a walk on. Yeah. Uh, what was the other one we did? Everest said 30 minutes, and we waited 16. Yes, 
15 minutes. So everything's been posted a lot higher than what we've actually waited. So, and also this one's a good queue. Like the actual oh, yeah, queue so of this one, so there's so much to see. Like just look how pretty it is. Avatar program. Soon you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar, and I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. Alright everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay. Start scan. Uh, you've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number, you're not going to feel a thing. You're doing great. All done here. They're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. We need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <coughs> Help us out and move around a bit. Almost. Yes, got it. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. We waited about 35 minutes 35 for minutes. flight of passage. The time was posted at 55, so. With the pre-show and like the actual ride itself, it was like 40 minutes all in, but mm -hmm. I don't count riding the ride in the pre-show as waiting. Like, I know it probably is, but. Yeah, but that's all part of the, sh part of the ride, isn't it? So waiting around. We are actually done with Animal Kingdom for the day. We've done everything we wanted to do today and we are coming back here again on Friday. We are indeed. So we thought for now we are going to leave the park and we're going to head to Celebration for a little stroll. A little stroll and, and have... a trip to Celebration isn't complete with a trip to Kilwins. <laughs> Without a trip to Kilwin. Without a trip to Kilwin. So, yeah. yeah. So that is the plan now. Um, but we've had a brilliant day. It's 
10 to 3, so we've been in here pretty much all day since opening. Uh -huh. uh, we didn't pay for Genie Plus, so nope. we've done everything we've we wanted done. to do. We haven't, we didn't do Navi's River Journey. That's the only other big ride that, the, that the we want to do. Posted with high times is so, Navi River Journey. Yeah, we'll do that when we come back on Friday. But what yeah. was that, sorry? So we've just seen Goofy, Goofy and Pluto. Goofy. But Pluto is also Goofy because you called him that. Back in the last trip, I accidentally called Pluto Goofy. <laughs> to his face. <laughs> to his face. How bad is that? Literally. Oh. Decent. Mm, Bob. Is it good? Mm. That's pretty good. I think I might have to get one. Are you guys just looking right now or is it all the better thing? You might get the apple. No, I won't. That's our peanut caramel apple. That's really, really nice. We don't really do them at home. So. Are you going to get mint chocolate? Oh, I'm going to get my mint chocolate. I have to. So we have gone for the um, pecan chocolate apple. So we're going to save that for like another day. Definitely. Because I can't come here without getting my mint chocolate chip. Um, a mint chocolate chip home. Yes, please. Yeah. So I got the Kilwins track ice cream which is like a peanut butter chocolate ice cream and i got it as a milkshake daniel got his usual mint Min chocolate, chocolate chip cone and we are just enjoying this on a bench in celebration overlooking the lake and the fountains this is one of our absolute favorite things to do in florida literally so relaxing peaceful I want to live here. <laughs> this is a nicer lake to walk around than the one back at home. <laughs> Didn't in pastures. Mm. So we've had our ice cream and our milkshake and we're just now taking a walk around the lake on the lookout for some gators. <laughs> Honestly, I love celebration so much. It's just such a like, nice little bit of calm away from the madness of the theme parks. It is, same as Broadwalk yesterday. That's another place you can go to just to get away from it all. There's some really nice little like diners and restaurants in celebration as well that we said we might try and come to if we get the chance. Like we said it like every trip, <laughs> but we haven't managed to do it yet. So we might try and do it this trip because this is a trip that was like unexpected so we don't mind like trying new things on this one definitely but not that we mind on other trips but on other trips like because it's so like you've waited for such a long time to have it you and go you want to like do all your favorite things whereas i don't mind like because we've done like a lot of our favorite things already yeah like earlier on in the year but this is just exactly what i wanted to do on this trip yeah Another thing you can do in celebration is you can hire these bikes and do like a seven mile bike ride. That's not something we are wanting to do today, but it is an option, which I think would be quite nice to do on like a weekend, like when mm -hmm. you fancy getting out of the parks. So you just have to walk around the lake and here is the bike shed you sort of thing. Drive around park and there is, like, yeah, there's a car park over there. So you could just drive straight to this car park and start your bike ride. They've got the Mexican and the Starbucks over there. So the Mexican's called avocado. 
then they've got Celebration Town Tavern, which is one of the ones that we want to try. And then the Downtown Diner is over there, and that does like your breakfasts and brunch type dip like options. So yeah, so you've got the diner, the tavern, Starbucks, and the Mexican, all opposite from the lake. Not sure what that one is i think it's an italian and i don't know if that's still open the one in the corner there i ate there years ago and it was like a japanese style place so i remember having sushi and stuff in there and it was really really good i, I came there like around christmas in 2014. well i actually find rocking chairs a little bit scary not scary but like well, you felt like you're gonna fall back yeah like look, look at that like, i just went so far forward i just don't trust them you can't you wouldn't go anywhere no no i just don't trust them Fair there's an alligator. That was a gator, wasn't it? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, let me just pop that. Mm, no, I'll put that down. <laughs> so it is now much later. Yeah, and you catch us in Hollywood Studios car park. <laughs> we are just hiding out from the rain. So it wasn't actually forecast for rain this evening. There's like a quick shower and we don't want to get like really wet before we go into the park. So we're hiding out in the car. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to sit here for I think it's 20 minutes it said. And yeah. Until the rain was going to pass over. But we've already been in the car for about five minutes, so we'll just wait for a little bit longer, and then it'll be gone. We can already see like clearer skies oh, coming. Yeah, yeah. So, it's but we passing. we are here for Fantasmic this evening. It's starting at eight. It is quarter to seven right now. So we're hoping to maybe go in and maybe go on a ride or mm -hmm. like just like get a nice spot for Fantasmic. But yeah, we last caught up with you in celebration. Then we just went for a drive to go check out the villa that we're staying yeah, in. <laughs> we're coming with my family um, this time next year. I think we mentioned it. There's going to be like 14 of us. So we just went and drove to the location where the villa is. I know you're, you're, you're in for a treat next I know, year. I right? Um, it looks really nice though. We, we we know that area. We just haven't been on that villa community before. So we booked Emerald Island, whereas we normally stay on Windsor Hills. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it looked really, really nice. Yeah, it did look great. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. And what else did we do? That's it, really. That's pretty much it. We just went back to the hotel <laughs> and literally just chilled. Yeah, didn't really yeah, do anything. We didn't really do anything. We just like, kind of, like took a little break. Um, I just wanted to say again, like I know we mentioned it quickly this morning, but Tusker House was really good. Like I, I really, Tusker really enjoyed House, the food yeah. there. They had some like really good food, great character Something interaction. Like I said this morning, like the character interaction I found was was so much better than I've ever ever experienced before. Great right about that. But don't get me wrong, like um, character dining is expensive, but oh, it's yeah. nice for like a one-off treat. Like if you're over here, you've got especially if you've got kids and stuff, it's great for them to do. So yeah, we really, we really liked that. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is about like the character dining, especially at Tusker House, is it being a um, buffet. That's it. Can get it out. <laughs> Be having a buffet, you just eat. Well, if you want to eat, carry on eating, eat and eat and get off plate after plate. But you can just fill yourself right up, and that lasted us all day. Yeah. So I think the only other thing we've had since that is obviously the ice cream and the milkshake. Yeah. We um, we've had no other like savory meals or like no, snacks we, yeah, or we genuinely haven't eaten anything else. So yeah, it was expensive, but it was kind of worth it. So mm. we we're, pro we're probably going to grab some dinner after Hollywood Studios. Like, once we've watched Fantasmic, yeah. we're thinking of possibly going to that Cheddar's Scratch uh -huh. Kitchen. We um, met up with our friends Becky and Sean yesterday, and they went there for dinner last night, and they said it was one of their favourite meals. And we also watched it on a vlog. Um, it was what's that um, those with the kid. Oh, what's the <laughs> I don't know. The Despicable Three. Them. <clears throat> they where they don't really come to Florida anymore. I completely forgot about their their name for a second. But yeah, they we no, watched one that. of their pod uh, podcasts. Where the hell? We watched one of their vlogs, and yeah, they went there as well. So we think we're going to try that out tonight. Yeah. So yeah, as we said earlier, today is probably going to be an over budget day, but it, we will make up for that. We the will. rest of the week now basically we we're gonna have be. a chilled one tomorrow before halloween horror nights mm -hmm. we're not doing any theme parks or anything like that so we might just like have a little wander around the outlets we're not actually going to do shopping we'll be doing like some window shopping yeah, although family it. members back home have my, asked my us. sister she texts me she put in a request she wanted something so yeah i said i'll go and grab that for her 
so we've just um, got bits to grab for family yeah, but that's much. not our money no, so no, no, we'll, no that's that's their money they get they let you know they're sending us the money so we can go and pick them some stuff up which is fine we don't mind doing it and we enjoy going around the outlet yeah it's i really just, like it to be fair it's nice to do yeah i like because they're just nice to walk around yeah. even like celebration like that's not an awful lot to do there but it's just nice just peaceful. being there yeah peaceful i really enjoy it it's mm -hmm. good yeah we both do and i think the rain has stopped so should we make a run for it now or yeah Definitely a bit later. Good evening. <laughs> we last wrote to you in the car in a Hollywood, Hollywood Studios, Studios car park. Um, and then we, obviously we said that we were going to go out for dinner. We said that we were just going to go watch Fantasmic. Well, we walked into the park and Rise of the Resistance only had a 40 minute wait. And we've probably waited about 50 in total yeah. with actually being on the ride. And by the time we come out, it was about five or 10 past eight. So we missed uh, Fantasmic, but they had another show in at half nine. So because we were, both weren't hungry, we decided to scrap off, like going out for dinner. That's it, watch Fantasmic. Well, we did, we like spent um, a bit of time walking around Galaxy's oh, Edge yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. So we spent some time like going around Galaxy's Edge. We had some, like took some good pictures, just mm -hmm. like walked about there. We got then that we really good, um, uh, photo pass oh yeah with like the, the lightsabers. lightsabers that was really cool actually the guy there was really really good 
and yeah, then I'd like that. and then we went um, around Toy Story. Mm -hmm. We did Toy Story Mania. We did. did we do anything else from there? Nope. Yeah, and then we got to Fantasmic at about just before nine and was in the queue. And obviously they don't really let you into the the theater straight away. So yeah, we were waiting around there, but it was like so busy, so we just didn't really bother like actually vlogging. No. And then we vlogged a bit of the show. We did, and then yeah, we just we left. And decided to come back. So yeah, we didn't go after dinner. So we actually are within budget today. I oh, think definitely. In yeah, total, yeah, yeah. I think we spent like 150, maybe 160. So actually it didn't end up being too bad. So that breakfast, the expensive breakfast was definitely worth it because it kept us going all day. Obviously, we did have the milkshakes and bits. Yeah, but milkshakes, <laughs> ice creams and little bits like that that we had at Celebration. Also, there was something I saw this evening as we were walking into Fantasmic, and I don't know if this is completely, I'm just an idiot, I've never seen it before, but on the side of Tower of Terror, if you look oh, up yeah. in one of the windows of Tower of Terror, it looks like someone's like peeping out of a curtain, like someone's like looking out of like a hotel room. Um, I've never ever noticed it before. No, I've never, never seen that. No, it's no. literally on the back back side of it as you're literally walking as you're fantasmic. walking into like the phantasmic theater if you look to your left and you look up and it, it's kind of like past some trees as well it's definitely better at night though yeah well, yeah, you yeah. Would always I see don't... It at night if you're going that way for phantasmic yeah 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 i don't know if you'd see it during the day no like, probably I don't not know if Cause just, just because the, the room it's in the lights on yeah so just you like, have a look out for that let us know if you see it because mm. I, di I didn't know and if just that tell was us what you, tell us what you think it yeah is. I, I think that's what it is and I, I, I know i probably could google it as well but i just thought yeah it was quite cool i looked at daniel and was like oh have you ever seen that before <laughs> and we were both like oh no but yeah so on that note we are going to end today's vlog here mm -hmm. we've had a really really lovely day it's just been nice to just take it yeah i think we done quite a bit today actually we did we've done twenty one thousand steps today <laughs> So a very busy day, very early start. Kind of looking forward to a low, a, a low, a slower paced um, morning tomorrow mm. before yeah, Halloween Yeah, we haven't really got nights. anything planned in the morning. No, we're going to maybe pop to some shops or whatever. But yeah, we will take you along with us. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we will catch you tomorrow. See you soon. Good night. Bye-bye.